A lot of steppe theorists often use R1A to explain how steppe migrants entered South Asia and brought Indo-Aryan languages with them. Now let's talk about that. In India, the main R1A subclade, making up about 70% of all R1A in the Waifu database, is the Y3 plus subclade, also known as RM780. It branched off from Z94 around 2600 BC. Interestingly, none of the steppe samples, even from Sintashtaur and Dronovo sites dating to or after 2000 BC, have the RY3 plus subclade. Instead, they belong to either the sister subclade of uh, R1A Z2124 or the parent subclade R1A Z94. So if the high frequency of R1A in India came from Sintashta or Andronovo migrations, why is the dominant Indian subclade missing in those step samples? The Y3 plus subclade is barely found outside of India in any significant numbers, whether in ancient or modern databases. For example, it makes up about 1% in modern Arab, Middle Eastern and Eastern European populations in Waifu which is likely due to Romani or recent migrations from India. Now while its ancestor clade Z93 is clearly of steppe origins, the question is, where did the Y3 plus subclade itself originate? The most likely explanation is that it emerged from a single individual living in India around 2600 BC, whose paternal ancestry traces back to the steppe. Why do I think that Y3 mutation likely came from someone with a patrilineal lineage from the steppe? It's because Y3's ancestor Z94 formed between 2900 and 2600 BC. This means that the paternal ancestor of the Y3 individual lived in the steppes during that period. However, when exactly this ancestor moved to India between uh, the formation of Z94 and the creation of Y3, it's not really possible to pinpoint um, the time without finding the specific individual's DNA. Now, the appearance of Z94 in India mutating in a male descendant to form Y3 doesn't necessarily prove any large-scale migration or invasion. After all, mutations only happen in a single person. So if Y3 is of Indian origin, its presence could simply reflect the migration of one individual to India at around 2500 BC. At that time, India was in the mature Harappan Indus Valley civilization phase, a well-known trading place with connections to Central Asia. Now, it's plausible very likely that this individual may be a merchant or even a slave who migrated during this period from the steppes to the Indus Valley. However, that one person in a civilization with millions of people cannot impose his language or the caste system on the locals. It's just not realistic.